Hello everyone, in this quick video I will show you how to create beautiful maps like this one that I have in my background with a free online tool called qsomaps.org. Hello everyone, my name is Paolo, call sign Victor Alpha 3, Hotel Delta Lima. If this is your first time watching, please consider to subscribe to the channel. And now let's jump into qsomaps.org. I wanted to cover this um, tool because I was uh, looking online and there is no videos about the qsomap.org. And this is uh, really a great uh, free tool to create uh, QSO maps. And what I'm gonna cover on the video is how to do it from AD uh, files and how to do it from text files. Or for just copying and, and, and pasting the text from uh, qrz.org. Um, so I will be covering those uh, options. And um, if you're uh, interested, you can uh, do further investigation for, uh, to see how the reverse um, beacon network works or the whisper network works. Before we start looking into the details, uh, I wanted to show you a couple of uh, um, very nice things that you can do with the QSO map. Uh, one is uh, when you click in a call sign, it's picking uh, information from uh, qrz.com and you can see uh, the picture that is in there from the different call sign that you contacted or you upload. The other thing is um, you, can, uh, you can put it in full screen uh, you can resize the, the map to whatever size uh, you want. And uh, once you have that, you can take a screenshot um, of, the, of um, the map. And uh, then there you go. You, you, you have a, a very nice picture of all your contacts. And uh, you can save it. You can share it with your friends. You can share, share it uh, uh, in any social media uh, website. It's pretty nifty. So before jumping in on how to create the maps, uh, first let's take a look at the maps preview. A maps preview is giving us an idea on what are the different type of maps that you can get from the web tool. As you can see, there are many, many different type of maps that you can generate. And um, I'm gonna scroll down so you can see there are many more in there. And also, there is uh, the last two options. Uh, they are pointing you directly to uh, the um, type of maps that you can create by copying and pasting text that you have in your clipboard, in your computer, or uh, text from the QRZ uh, logbook, which I'm going to show you uh, later. So first, uh, let's take a look at making a map using some text in this format that you have um, in, a, in a notepad or in some text editor in your computer. So I'm gonna click in here and uh, I'm gonna expand this window. This is the window where you're supposed to paste your text. So I have my text prepared. Let me grab it. So this is probably the easiest uh, option is just to type uh, your, uh, your grid square, the um, call signs of the um, of the stations that you contacted. And uh, for this map, you need the grid, the grid square of those call signs. But let me um, uh, make a, a point here. This is the only case that you need the grid square when you copy and paste the text directly here. Because if you use any other method, you don't need to know the grid, grid square of the um, other station. It will automatically be retrieved from qrz.com or, or other websites. So, uh, after I pasted my text in here, I'm gonna click uh, display map. And uh, there you have it, it's right there. So let me put a full screen so you can have um, a good view. 
uh, those are the um, the lines that I, of text that I, I pasted and he made this map very very quickly very simple uh, I'm not sure if it, when you click is you no know, it's not pulling the information in this case let me see this one no it's not pulling the information in some maps it does in some map it doesn't but um, this is probably the easiest uh, option to get started with this the other option that I wanted to show you is the QRZ logbook map. So we're gonna click into this map that you can create. And in here is giving you a blank uh, input area. So you can enter in here the text from uh, the QRZ.com. So I have here in my browser ready the QRZ.com uh, page open. For the purpose of this demonstration, I created a filter, a view for my RTTY contacts uh, only. I want to, to plot those on the maps from the last few contests that I participated. And what you have to do is select from the, from the flag like this and you scroll down uh, all the way down uh, or the for the the contacts that, that you want to the qsos that you want to map right you select as many you want so i have 200 per page so i want to select those uh, first 200 rtty contacts and i want to say uh, right click and copy the data i will i'm going back to my qsomap.org site and i'm going to paste right there the data that I copy from the qrz.com website. And now I just need, the only thing I need to do is just click uh, display map. And the map is automatically generated uh, for me from with all the uh, RTTY uh, contacts that I um, copy and paste from my qrz.com uh, uh, logbook. Um, you can click and you can see details of the contact. So we cover the, um, the two options that you have for copying and, and pasting the text. And now the um, other option that I wanted to, to cover with you is the um, ADIF files. So if you never heard about the ADIF uh, files, uh, those are, um, it's a type of file, is the amateur data interchange format that is intended to be a vendor neutral personal computer file format to allow amateur stations logs created in one program to be used by other software. M many, many of the uh, modern uh, logbooks uh, and and ham radio applications allows you to export the log data, the QSO data in AV format. So my, my preferred logbook is a log for all men. So this is what I use. In this case, to me, it's very simple to export data for, from here. So for example, if I wanted to see my latest contacts, in um, in this range, I can just select uh, a range. For example, I want to select all this range, and up to here, up to this uh, last RTTY QSO. And uh, once I have all those selected, uh, I can right click just right here on the grid and say selected to ADIF, and that is going to export the selected range to. Um, to AD, AD format. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to change the title just to just to make it easier for me to find the, the later. So I'm going to say it, uh, QSO map in here. I'm going to say save. Now I have the file that I need. I go back to um, the QSO map.org and I will now go to file and upload a single ADIF file. So I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna choose the file and we name it QSO map. Right click there and upload. So upload this processing. So now it's done. And now I go to uh, maps. And I can pick uh, whatever map I like to, to see. So I would like to see polylines map with labels for uh, the um, file that I upload. So I'm going to give the range of dates for, so it, it can find that range uh, of QSOs that I just copy and paste in here. 
So I go back to my logbook. I, my first contact was from, from March 6th. So I go back here and I say my first contact, 2021, March 6th. And my last contact was on March 7th. I go here, 2021, 03, March 7th. And now uh, I need to put my starting grid so it knows where to center my station. And I hit the submit button. And you can see here now the map is uh, generated with all the contacts that I uploaded in that range on the ADAF. IF file. I would like to mention also why uh, the tool is asking you to enter your starting grid in here. Uh, the, this is because uh, this tool is used um, many times for people uh, uh, doing uh, uh, parks on the air activations, spot activations, summits on the air activations, uh, SOTA. So uh, in that case, uh, the, your starting grid, it will not be your station um, grid on, in, at your home. It's probably uh, you want the map to be centered or starting from the park where you um, started the activation or the summit that you started the activation. There is a lot more to explore in this uh, in this great tool. Uh, there is um, a, a lot of uh, more maps that you can create, and also you can do club maps. And in the tools section, you can um, also uh, create charts for your contacts, and uh, you can delete all your QSOs if you want to start fresh uh, from scratch. You can do that too, and. Um, I will leave all that for you to investigate. Uh, I hope you um, liked this uh, short video. And if you do, please uh, don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe to the, um, to the channel. That is telling me that you are enjoying the content that I am uploading and it's giving me and encouraging me uh, to uh, upload more um, demonstrations like this. Thanks for watching and until the next time.